The first step to raising money for your 24-hour ride is to personalize your page. First, you need to log into the top right-hand corner of the page by typing in your username and password. Now, if you forgot your username or password, don't be alarmed, it's really no problem. Just go to where you would have logged in and go to the right where you can click Forgot Password. This will bring up a page where you can type your email where notification will be sent to help you reset your password. Now that we're logged in, you want to click the heading titled Participant Center. This will bring up a screen with rides you have registered for. So for me, I've only registered for Charlotte. Depending on the page you want to personalize, you'll click on that title. The screen will automatically bring up your home page. This will show you how much you have raised, your goal, the percent of money you have raised, and the days left until the ride. Although this is very important information, we're here to personalize your page, so let's get started. Click the heading Personalize Page. First, I want to change the title of my page. For me, I'm going to call it my title Kicking Cancer's Booty. Originally, the body of your page will display the template set from the beginning. However, I wanted to write my own message to my friends and family in the box. You can keep any part of the original script you want, or you can raise this and write your own message. You can also change the color of your font by clicking the A and choosing a different color. Or if you have written something in Word and you want to simply copy and paste, you can click on the little folder to the right, you see my arrow on that has the Word document symbol. Clicking on this will bring up a box where you can paste your message. Now let's change the photo or add a video if you have one. So you can click on Photos and Videos. I don't have a video, but if you did, you could just click on Video and you could paste the URL from YouTube. We're going to go to Photos though. So if you click Browse, and then I have one called Bike Map that I want to use and click Open. And then after it's there, you can add your own caption. I'm going to do Cool Bike. And you can click Save or Upload. And there's my photo. If you don't like it, you can just remove your photo and browse and add a new one. Now there's one last step to personalizing your page. Click on the components to the right to choose from a list of options of items you can have or choose not to on your page. For example, the status thermometer will visually show you how close you are to your goal. The fundraising honor roll will show your largest donations received. You can also choose to enable a personal blog. This simply means you will be able to write post updates on your page about what's going on in your fundraising. Always click on save after you're finished to be sure your changes have been made. Let's go see what our page looks like now. Click on personal page once more and you will be brought back to your title and body section. On top, you will see a title in blue that reads view personal page. Click here to see how others are able to see your page. If you're unhappy with any part of your page, you can go back again and personalize it as many times as you please. I hope this helped. However, please contact the office if there's anything else you need assistance with. We're always more than happy to help.